we're going to talk about how the Smith maneuver works and we're going to start right now. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Vancouver and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn ways to be approved for a mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so it won't miss anything. So what's the Smith Maneuver? It's a wealth building strategy to create a tax deductible mortgage. You may have heard and envied that mortgage holders in the US can claim their mortgage interest as tax deductible. Well, you may be able to use that strategy in Canada with the Smith Remover. And here's how it works. In Canada, if you borrow money to invest in the product that produces an income, such as an investment property or a dividend paying stock, the interest on the borrowed money may become tax deductible. If you borrow against the equity in your home, invest it in income producing products like rental property or stocks, then you can use the tax refund to further pay down your mortgage. By repeating that number of times, you can pay off your mortgage much faster. The man behind it all was Fraser Smith, a financial strategist based in Victoria, British Columbia. He pioneered the Smith Maneuver, a groundbreaking legal strategy that lets ordinary Canadian homeowners make their mortgages tax deductible. In his work, he saw too many Canadians were waiting until their mortgages were paid off before they started to build an investment portfolio, missing out years of compounding interest and putting themselves in the position of being house rich and cash poor in retirement. Unlike his wealthier investors who use tax strategies to grow wealth. So he learned the rules of tax deductibility and penned the book, The Smith Maneuver for Canadians. You can Google his book and buy it. In a simplified way, here's how it works. It starts with a reavanceable mortgage, which is a mortgage link with a home equity line of credit. The credit limit for your mortgage plus the credit line is normally 80% of the appraised value of your home. But new rules have changed that to 65% of the value of your home. With each mortgage payment, you pay down some principal, which immediately becomes available credit in the credit line. You can now borrow this amount to invest directly from the credit line. Your investment credit line interest is normally tax deductible and you should receive a refund, which will be small in the beginning. You'll need to keep track because only the interest portion you're investing can be tax deductible. Use the line of credit portion to invest in incoming producing products, but this is very important, never in an RRSP. You'll lose the tax deduction. And at tax season, you can deduct the annual amount of interest you paid on your line of credit against your income. Then apply the tax return and investment income against your non-deductible mortgage and invest the new money now that's in your line of credit. Repeat this until your non-deductible mortgage is paid off. By doing this, you get to build a large investment portfolio without waiting to pay off your mortgage first. You get to quickly pay down your non-deductible mortgage in a hurry and your new investment loan is now tax deductible. To learn more about this strategy and to see if it can work in your situation, comment below or contact me directly. And there you go. We just explained how the Smith Maneuver works. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more and make sure to click on the notification bell so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Rise Mortgage. We are always achieving your approval.